and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today, I'm going to go over the Madden market. Now, quite a few things have been coming out this week, and quite a few things that will be coming out post this video should affect things more. So, again, precautionary type video. Going to have it ready for you guys probably around mid-afternoon so you guys can see this. Take the advice as you guys will. And as you guys know, there's been Madden Ghost, Madden Zero Chill, eventually out of position. A lot of things have been changing this week. We have the presents. We're inching closer to Christmas. We're out on the 20th, which means the giveaways are kicking up a little bit, guys. I probably will do like a gift card type kind of thing on Christmas Day. But as for now, we're at 45k. We came from 30, ramping it up. I know it might not seem like a lot to you guys, 15k more, but trust me, it's it adds up for me as I keep paying it out. And eventually we're gonna be going up to maybe like 60, 70k. But that's close to Christmas Day. Now, guys, if you don't already know, that's 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do to enter that is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word and your console. Once you do those things, you are entered to win. I will be announcing the winner from yesterday on today's 10:30 video. Now, guys, let's head over to the market. So, today we do have quite a few things coming out, or we should have already had them out by the time you guys see this video. We have a Patrick Mahomes ghost that's guaranteed already. Now, that's going to impact the market quite a bit in certain aspects. Now. Most of the quarterback market. I'll get to that as we get up there. Now the 88s, guys. The only reason that they're kind of not as cheap as they were, 38k. They'll probably be cheaper is because flashbacks, heavyweights, and veterans have installed for these current weeks, so they are not being spammed out of packs at all. They've kind of stalled these. Like there's no reason to actually open these now right now. So until the end of December, these probably won't be a great way. So like the 88s probably won't be as cheap as it used to be. Zero chill cards would have been cheaper, but they have Kindling holding them up a little bit right now because people anticipate that with the new present ghost that they're going to want to be able to re-roll them from the sets so that's why people are buying out these cards to get kindling ready to do things just like that so for the time being they're not as cheap as they could be so 88 to 89 probably aren't the best source of training at this exact moment now 90 overalls same thing usually flashbacks and heavyweights keep them down but because of the fact that again not people are opening up flashbacks heavyweights and veterans right now because there's no new cards they're staying up while a lot of other cards that were normally up are staying up now guys some quarterbacks that probably take some hits today that, I mean, it depends, right? Whoever still has Steve Young probably doesn't hold him much longer after today. Now, the thing is, Steve Young won't be impacted a lot because he's already kind of cheap. Who's going to be impacted are the top quarterbacks. Which people are asking, is that going to be Lamar Jackson? It could be, but here's the thing with Lamar, right? Lamar's like Vic every year. No matter what comes out, like, they could drop Jesus Christ into this game. And as long as Vic was there with the 96 speed or whatever, no one cared because he still was Vic. So I feel like Lamar Jackson has that Vic aura now where, like, it doesn't matter what comes out in the game. He's going to hold value because he's Lamar Jackson. He's going to be the MVP of the league, and he's the fastest guy in the game at quarterback. I feel like no matter what, like, there's either you want the, the running back at quarterback that can run like a running back and still pass, or do you want that insane strong arm passer that has all the abilities. I frankly don't know what I'm going to do. I'm very torn. I love Lamar Jackson. I love Pat Mahomes. I really don't know which way I'm going here. So for the time being, guys, my best advice to you is just wait it out, see the prices. I mean, I think Lamar's going to, I mean, I think Mahomes going to be cheaper for by quite a bit, which should either, it'll probably lower Lamar Jackson's price because he has to compete with Mahomes. It all really depends. Again, I don't know what I plan to do here. Let's head over to the 92 to 93s and go check out Lamar real quick so I can give you guys a little stat comparison because I do know what his stats will be like. Let's go over to the Blitz. So here's the thing. Lamar chemmed up and powered up and everything he ends up right about here he's going to end up with a 93 speed and then with go deep he's gonna have above 90 throw power above 90 throw short uh like 88 throw mid above 90 throw deep above 90 throw under pressure above 90 throw in the run above 91 play action so he gets every throwing threshold in the book besides the medium accuracy now michael now i was gonna say michael jackson now patrick mahomes he's gonna have an 82 speed which means he does get a skate artist which is big he gets a skate artist Mahomes throw power is going to be like high 90s. His short accuracy is going to be mid 90s. Medium accuracy is going to be above 90s. His deep accuracy is going to be high 90s. Throw to pressure is going to be high 90s. Throw in the run is going to be above 90s. Same with play action. Now, here's the difference between Mahomes and Lamar. Literally the biggest difference. Lamar has plus 10 speed. It's will you Are you willing to give up the speed for the dashing dead eye? That, that's essentially all it is. That's it. Mahomes has the medium threshold and dashing dead eye. Dashing dead eye means that on the run he could throw perfect passes. Would you rather that or the speed? It's very tough. Lamar Jackson's speed makes huge plays for me all the time. 
But sometimes it's the escape artist that makes the big play. And what happens after is not so much Lamar. But vice versa, Mahomes dashing dead eye is going to be huge. When you have like you're on the run, you see a wide open guy and you can't hit him. Dashing dead eye, you always hit him. I really don't know what the move is here yet, guys. But Lamar Jackson's price should be adjusted accordingly. As you guys can see, he is going for about 449. He's taking quite a hit, about 150k since the last few days. Now, with that being said, I mean, I don't know if he's worth selling at that price. I'll probably end up just holding him because he is Lamar Jackson. Maybe I'll get both for now, see which one I like better, and then sell the other one. I really don't know. It's, it's a tough decision. But heading on over, guys, should you be buying right now? Not yet. I am I mean, personally, w w for you guys, go see directly what Mahomes and those new ghosts do. If the prices drop after them, definitely pick them up. But zero chill kindling is rising right now because of the fact that Mahomes is coming out and people are prepared for that. By the time you guys have seen that, he's there. So they want to have kindling so that they can do the reroll set. But once all the cards come out, if they're not, if they're a little underwhelming, the market should come down a little bit. But when the market will be at its cheapest, more than likely, is probably after the ghost of uh, pass drop too, and they increase the overalls. Because right now, they're just 94s. When they start dropping like 95, 96s, the market should start coming down because those cards are going to be so valuable compared to all the other guys because of the abilities you unlock in 95. So that's definitely important, which is why I think they're going to kill it more than likely. Now, the word for today's video is tree. Comment down below the word tree, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your comments once you do all those things and to win. Good luck. Now, as you guys can see, I never recommend buying the um, Zero Chill cards or any of them day one. Because look at this, Ghost of Future. These cards were like 280, 300k when they first came out. Now they're looking like at a solid 200k if you just wait for them for the right price. Devin Bush is the only one that's held up at 224, but he's a Rick Premier, as is Lindstrom. And then McLaurin's only going for about like, I believe like 300k. I don't think he's going for any more than that. 374. So see how cheap they all are combined? They're really not that... They're okay. They're not that they're the best cards, but they are definitely really, really cheap, which is why, same thing with McCaffrey. I'd recommend you guys wait, because so McCaffrey was like 370, then he was 330, then he was 245, 250, 260, right there. Then he came back up. The only reason he came back up is a few guys made YouTube videos yesterday going over, get McCaffrey. Now, I was one of them at one point, and then like another guy made one going over how to get him for cheap, how to get him so that you can have him ready for homes. And now, consequently, he is very, very expensive compared to what he was. So like I'm saying, you guys can easily ignore when they first drop, save the coins, wait for when they come out, give them a few days. They drop down like McCaffrey and buy a bunch of them, like I said, and then he'll come back up when they need kindling. I literally told you guys this in videos. I told you guys buy McCaffrey when he was like 270 because he's going to eventually come up because people are going to need kindling and it's happening. And this is just for my homes. Imagine if there was like a blitz. If there was a blitz, the kindling mark would go crazy. If he came up just on the chance that you could reroll with him, Imagine the prices come up to if they drop the blitz or like You need a kindling for some crazy offers guys. All I'm saying all I'm saying now as far as the rest of the 94s like NFL 100s They typically take their biggest hits on Fridays, which is today So NFL wide receivers 100 or the NFL 100 wide receivers are dropping today So you can expect this market to take a little bit of a hit not a massive hit But guys these cards are pretty cheap already In comparison to what they were definitely some solid cards are at some solid prices right now Lawrence Taylor Reggie White, finally within the 600k range. Go oh, within, I'm, as by within, I mean like be behind now. They're not like above it anymore. They're under it. They're finally under it. Into the 500k range. Really, really good prices. Ronnie Lott's still really expensive, which kind of sucks. I definitely want to pick him up. Now, I, I currently use my power pass on Dion, which I'm not sure if that was the smartest idea, but I definitely love Dion. I know I need him on my team. I definitely want to start competing online again, especially with double XP weekend league, so I can get my XP up, get my XP up, my trophies up, and finally start using this team. But for the time being, guys, my best advice for you is this right here. When the when the ghost drop today, don't buy right away. Let them settle. Let people figure out what's good and what's bad. My home price might honestly go up if people love them that much. Other ones should go down depending. We don't know. We don't know exactly, but you guys already know at this point. I'd let them sit. Just wait, wait it out. Wait till they come down. They will come down to like a, a bottom price. And then you buy a bunch there, and then when something new comes out, like the, the Ghost of Future, they're gonna come back up again. It's, it's just it's like the nature of Madden at this point. That's the best thing I can say to do for now. And guys, this market's only gonna get worse, right? Like it's crashing already, but we still have the present that just dropped today, the future, out of position, the 12 days of Christmas, the presents. This market's going to get bad in a few weeks. That is why I don't really like, I haven't really bought too much and I'm buying things on, when I, when I know they're cheap, like Tony Gonzalez for 400k, like that's cheap. That should be unaffected by a lot of other things. But some things I'm not really touching, like what McCaffrey, he could be cheaper. So 
I don't really want to go all in on things that I know have potential to die even more. But like I said, NFL 100, kind of just like their own little separate thing. Don't get impacted too much by everything. So I see that th they'll be okay when you find a good price for them, you're fine. But other things like Zero Trill and stuff, that's going to keep being affected all the way up until the last day of Christmas or like the last day of December. So always stay tuned for that <clears throat> and make sure you don't go overkill and buying things or not. That's why, that's why people are asking me, should I buy this now? I'm like, just wait. Wait it out. But guys, that's better for the video. I do have a few, quite a few more vids coming for you guys today. Hopefully, I can get them all done in time before I have to go out for the day. But I'm going to start working on those right after this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, it's 25 days of food mist. All you got to do is enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below the secret word and your console. Once you do all those things, you're ready to win. Good luck. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.